Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This video has been so anticipated. So I hope you guys are all doing really well. I am bringing back a house home orientated video, a super exciting renovation video. This is going to be part one of two. If you are new to this channel, hello, my name is Amy. I have been documenting my entire house moving journey. I am a first time buyer who ended up buying my dream home, which just so happened to be a new build. And I've documented the journey all the way from the beginning through to now, and we've been in the house just over a year, which is just crazy. In that time, I've achieved loads in the house. We've done loads of content in terms of renovating inside. But as I mentioned, when I first bought this house, it was always our plan that phase one in 2022 was going to be the garden renovation. And boy, are we in full swing. I have been vlogging this entire process, which is what you guys are about to see. I love watching transformation videos, whether it's of rooms or gardens specifically. Obviously, recently I've been watching. It has just been so satisfying. Because we're in a new build, we've got a blank canvas, so it's just completely open to interpretation in every single corner. So it was very exciting for me to get my creative juices flowing again, interior decor wise, even though it's technically exterior decor, really. It's also spring in the UK, so it's a really great time. As you can see, I'm getting plenty of natural light. It's super sunny. So I just wanted to come on and enter this video because what you're about to watch is all kind of a little bit over the place. It's all been done in time order, but of course I'm picking up and putting down the camera. So I just wanted to come on and intro with what you're about to see. So here's a little overclip of the garden in its pure form. So this is nothing to do with our patio that's near the house. It is just the grass bit at the back of the house that we find is just such a big waste of space. We tried putting a little bit of garden furniture on there last summer just to make do and it was just not comfortable. The chairs started sinking into the ground. It was muddy. Obviously we have a dog so he does his business on there. Like it was just, it was such, it's such a big grass space, but we just feel we couldn't use it. We then have a patio, which is actually against the house. I actually did a garden renovation video last year, which was landscaping that bit of the garden. So we used to have grass there. So if you want to check out how we laid a patio and how we transformed this back bit of the garden, then I will leave a link down in the description box. And I'll also, also leave an eye on the screen here for you guys. But this video really is the garden makeover. We are doing everything we possibly can. So that back section, because we've already got a patio, the natural thing that felt right for that back space was a big decking. So what you're about to watch is a time lapse of everything from when it was grass all the way through to the framework that is there now, which is what I'm currently looking at. And on Thursday this week, we actually have our composite being delivered, which is going to be such a satisfying time lapse. I mean, to be honest, all of the time lapses you're about to watch are so satisfying. But probably the most exciting part of this video today is we had some awesome garden furniture arrive. And yes, it was awesome, but it was actually from awesome. Awesome.com. I am so excited to say that awesome have popped these over to share with you guys so I could show you in person. I've got some amazing, amazing bits that you're about to see, which will all be linked down below. And I will leave any discount codes that are available as well down below so you can shop. Awesome is a great destination for any, at the moment, garden furniture. Honestly, anything to do with the garden, they have got it. So we also do speed unboxings of those and putting them together. It's so satisfying. Anyway, I just wanted to come on and intro this video. I really hope you enjoy part one of this. I am so excited to bring you part two. We're on a very tight time scale because we have Las Vegas at the end of this month, which we need to make sure it's all done by. And then when we come back, we've got a housewarming party where I'm gonna have loads of people wanting to be in my garden. So without further ado, cue the clip of when the garden furniture arrived. And honestly, you guys, it's stunning. Okay, so the first big deliveries have arrived for the garden. I am so excited to be checking these out. So we have actually got one more box that's in the garage, which is a parasol. We're not putting that up today because we need to wait for the counterweight to be delivered. But we have got two very, very exciting pieces. That I am so excited to be saying working with Awesome on this video. It's spelled A O S O M, but it's pronounced awesome. Their site is absolutely incredible. Anything you need for your garden, like from the tiniest of little things through to complete shed outbuildings, they sell. But I'm finally fulfilling my dream. Well, they've fulfilled my dream, and literally, I've got an egg chair. Ah! 
We've also got a very exciting fire table which is going to be replacing this coffee table here for this little seating area and then as you know we've got big plans for over there very very shortly materials have been ordered so we're going to unbox this now and set them up right now I'm standing in the corner First one built, Andy will uh, demo it. When you first sit in it, it feels like it's gonna, it's really comfy. I really like the design as well. So as you guys would have seen from the time lapse, this actually just literally hooks on and it flat, like flattens up. So when we store it, we are gonna buy a cover to cover it over, but like for the winter months when we're gonna wind everything down properly, you literally just unhook that and you can fold this up so it stores really well. I love, the black and I love the grey, it's like grey rope and then you've got a really beautiful linen, really comfy plush cushion and the cushion actually um, is completely unzippable so you can wash it as well and keep it really fresh. As you can see the theme for the garden is all going to be grey and darker colours because we're outdoors because as you know inside the house everything is beige and light and white but for outdoors because we've got such a big space to work with everything is going to be like slate grey. First one done, now on to the fire table. From across the room. It's kind of crowded here but I know you see me too. Everybody singing oh, everybody singing oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in Okay, so I've been shopping for the garden after we've constructed all this stuff. Also just had a little bit of Easter egg, so excuse me there. And I went to Home Bargains, B&M, and Aldi. And this is what I picked up so far to go with the garden. Now really, I should be chilling. Like I should not be really buying any bits and bobs just yet because we should kind of wait till we've got the layout. I'm not gonna buy any more bigger bits like I mentioned to you guys in one of my, my last HomeSense video. I did just pop in HomeSense as well and they had this giant Buddha, like this pr like sitting Buddha and it was $59.99 I think and I'm like not even opposed to paying that even though it's expensive for obviously just a statue um, but it's just a case of like if I buy that it's just going to be plonked in the corner for a while whereas once the garden is landscaped and done I can figure out where I want to put it and I think I know exactly where I want to put something like that. Anyway, as this is just a vlog clip that's going into the first Garden Transformation vlog, um, I wanted to just show you what I picked up today from Aldi and Home Bargains and B&M. So I'll start with Home Bargains because I literally just picked up these two here. So I actually seen these last year and when I went back to try and find them, I couldn't get them. Um, they are just solar powered spotlights, but they look like rocks. You can get them in black, I think as well. And obviously I went for the gray because everything's gray themed, but they do really have quite a good, um, they have quite a good like power. So I've turned them off right now, but if I turn them on, Obviously in the day they're not going to look much, but they are really good power. They were £3.50 a piece. I ended up picking up two because my plan is, is like with these sort of things, like when I've got that statue Buddha um, or something like that, I can have them positioned like that and they will spotlight onto it and it just looks really, really good. And then in Home Bargains, I picked up, I spotted these last year in Home Bargains actually, and they are the topiary bushes. Um, they had in store, they had, obviously I've got the bigger one here, and they also did have this pyramidy one, but I decided to go for the balls, because I thought I really liked the look of the balls. I've always wanted a few topiary balls, and I just don't like the faux looking ones. They fade, they get sun bleached and everything as well, so I thought we're going to definitely try and go for real. I'm, I'm a very keen gardener, I have no idea what I'm doing, 
that I want to learn. And can you believe they were only $9.99 a piece? And then I also seen last year, which I really wanted, this outdoor garden rug. So this is just the $9.99 one. They do do a $19.99 one, which is bigger again. The dimensions on this are 120 by 180, which is gonna be absolutely fine for this area once we've got the dining set on the patio over there. So yeah, this is all, I'm really glad I got this size to be honest. I didn't need the bigger one. There is no no point whatsoever spending an extra, spending double when all I want is just the effect of this like underneath there as like a, you know, make it feel like an outdoor living space. So then I originally bought a couple of tall plastic plant pots from Home Bargains. They were like £3.50 a piece. And then I went and did my food shop in Aldi. And while I was in Aldi, I spotted these, which I just could not say no to like they are they are rattan so they're a rattan effect planter and how perfect like how perfect is that gonna go in there like that is just gonna look so 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 nice they're a great size as well so they'll be able to be like plopped around where they can really pull in the space these will probably go on the decking again once we have it but i just knew i wanted these topiary balls and when i seen this they just looked like they were made together so i picked up two of them they did them in the gray color which i ended up going for and they also did it in a black but honestly the finish of these are so so nice this pops out as well so it's going to be really easy for me to transplant these right now i do need to drill a couple of holes in the bottom see where it says drill because you need to have some drainage they were 12 99 each which i think is actually a really fair price it's not super super cheap i thought they were actually 8 99 because they were in the wrong area um but i don't regret it whatsoever even andy said that he likes the look of these so yeah this is my little haul today and um, haul for this vlog i don't know if i'll be buying any more but i'm gonna go ahead and transplant the transplant these plants now into here and drill the holes i'll do that on a time lapse with you guys and then we'll see what they look like. Baby, let me love you, let me love you. Let me love you, let me love you. Baby, let me love you, let me love you. Let me love, let me love. Baby, let me love you. Here they are. Okay, I really like them. That is exactly how I wanted them to look. Obviously, I just noticed this guy needs a bit of, bit of TLC. But yeah, I better take off these as well. But perfect i am so happy with that look how nice that is gonna go like in conjunction with the garden furniture oh my gosh i love it okay it's day one of actual bringing up the ground so i have got it's just me today and he's doing some work got my day off the goal is my dad's coming over this evening to start the framework but the goal is that i start well, I'm going to measure out the area using some stakes and some jute so I have a nice clear border of where it's all going and then I'm going to start basically pulling up the turf and then the hard bit is going to be leveling it but we're not doing that today today is just about marking it out and getting as much grass pulled up as possible and then like I said my dad's coming over this evening because earlier we had a very exciting delivery cue the clip here Woods being delivered today. Finally, first bits we need for the decking. But as you can see, the timber has been delivered. So we have our clips coming tomorrow. And then also I plan on ordering the decking tomorrow because there's a 21 day turnaround time, 21 working days. So that gives us enough time to complete the framework because this is like a weekender job. So that gives us enough time to complete the framework and then we can literally lay the decking in a day. So cue the time lapse of me sorting out the boundaries. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you anywhere you want. As long as we're together, everything will do. You got me going on. Okay, so it's, a, so it's a different day now, but we're now unboxing the parasol because, or Jerry's unboxing the parasol. <laughs> He's literally unboxing it. Jerry's literally unboxing it on camera. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> 
as you can see Andy's got in his hands I did get the, the base the base arrived today so we can finally unpackage this so we can have it up because we couldn't do it without the counterweights so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this now with Jerry's assistance on time lapse and um, we'll see what it looks like I'll take you anywhere you want As long as we're together everything we'll do You got me going And we have finally constructed it Packaging removed, here we go That needs to be pushed up all the way Yeah, oh do you want it up? Oh no that angles it, okay Oh I see Oh wow Oh god it's big <laughs> It's huge that's amazing so yeah this is the oh my goodness it literally makes it so shaded this is what oh yeah you've got a little foot thing where you can swivel it here's the parasol and as you can see these strips here are actually solar lights so when it's dark we can actually put on the lights I believe that's what this little switch is over here which I don't think is gonna work because it oh it does it did just turn on Oh, we'll have to try that tonight and see what it looks like. That's really easy. It's literally just on the side there and you can just tuck that underneath, under there. Oh my goodness, it's lovely. Obviously, it's had like no solar power because it's literally just been put up. So it'll be interesting to see how bright they go. Sorry, Jerry is being very annoyed and he literally just destroyed the rug. I'm so angry. He did that right in front of us because we weren't letting him out. But yeah, this is the parasol. I absolutely love it and obviously then you can tilt it more if you push this up you can just angle it so obviously if the sun's like over there there you go so that's a full nice. full over the top it's really hard to see because the it's so big the camera frame is not even doing it justice can you see that little thing up there that's the solar panel so i think a lovely sunny day it's harvesting all of its energy then nighttime pop that up and you've got a little led light display and over the little area, oh my god, I love it! Oh, you got me going oh, Now I'm moving closer to you And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you So I forgot to update you all with the last update. So I'm gonna quickly tell you what we've done. So since you've seen the framing go down, I think you've seen that, the time lapse of it. We then had a day yesterday of digging. And now today, we are on mission fence. So we have just been to Screwfix and picked up, oh, way overexposed, picked up two nine liter tubs of the Ron Sill Fence Life Plus and I got it in the color slate. This is like the lighter gray that they do. So we got two massive tubs because we're doing all of the back fence here. And of course we've got to do this as well because I want it to all match in. We have this, which I borrowed off my granddad. So we're gonna be spraying it because it is a lot more efficient to spray it so you can do five meters squared in 12 minutes so that's really handy and we need to do two coats of this for the rough sawn wood so that is obviously this which is a lot more rough so yeah we think this is a good time to do it because obviously we've got all of this which i need to order a skip tomorrow to come for the weekend so we can literally pile all of this in and then we've got a little bit more of a patch to do here and then that is ready for the joists to go in obviously while this is under construction it would be a really good time to go ahead and do the fence if you can see where there is different colored wood there the reason that's like that is because we've recently had the posts redone because the posts were coming loose we've had them completely re-cemented and reinforced so that fence is all good and i also ordered finally 
some trellis to go along the top as well so it's some really high trellis that'll probably go up to about that fascia there no problem sharing a fence um but it just needs to be a little bit higher so i've ordered these which are in the screen now and they are coming thursday next week so the reason we're also painting the fence is one we don't like wood we don't like brown wood that's not our thing gray will make the garden more harmonious with all the colors and shades but also it means that when we put the trellis up we can spray paint it the same color and it's going to look much more harmonious so much more like it should be there um but yeah i'm just so relieved we've ordered this trellis so happy we went for like a solid wood it's like pressure treated wood so it should have a really good guarantee it's really thin slats as you've seen so there would be a lot more privacy I'm literally going to be so much happier. So I'm going to do a time lapse now of us painting the fence and let's see how this goes. I've never painted a fence with a sprayer before, so neither has Andy. So hopefully, wish us luck. We've got a lot to spray. I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It's almost like you make me fly. And when I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on ya It feels like I'm drunk on ya as you can see for the tan and we're back at work so today the joists are going in the ground sheets going in so hopefully we should get some really good time lapses i hope you guys enjoy i've been trying my best for a while trying to please everyone who's around me i've been putting on my fake smile even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't want to be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with new setting it's literally going on five o'clock i think it's nearly five o'clock the day is nearly done so we've got all of the trellis painted it's had two coats and all the detailing done i think i'm probably going to do one more coat on this as well because it's but we'll see how it dries i can i can see little patches it, to be fair with this stuff we use the exact same um stuff we used on the uh, fence which obviously i showed you guys earlier so we use that and it does say for um, rough sawn wood is two coats and for smooth sawn wood it's three so these are kind of more smooth so I'm gonna go with three I think do it properly um, but that's gonna look so much better along there this is the update with where we're at for the decking absolute a ton of work has been done today by my dad and Andy we put down all the ground sheet we put down all of the joists but this is the next job for me and Andy as well. We have to properly um, make sure that this is obviously not going to allow any growth through it because otherwise you get like grass and everything growing through which you don't want. What they called um, drain covers which Dad's done a proper little 
work around on literally as you can see because we need them to still be accessible not like instantly but if ever something was to happen we need to have it in a situation where it's not completely <laughs> Jerry's literally been doing this all day he just cannot get any closer yeah we had need them accessible to a degree so that's all in place if anything ever goes wrong and they need to be accessed but yeah this is the joists everything's in we've used most of the wood all the other woods over here as you can see it's been a beautiful sunny day all day I hope you guys have really enjoyed the timed lapses I've repotted my rose plant today which I'm so excited about because it needed to be done and I've pruned it all got rid of some of the dead leaves and look i've even got a bud i'm so happy so i put new soil new compost loads of nutrient um plant food in there well not loads because you shouldn't put too much because it can die these are my white wildflowers coming that i grew from seed they're coming up really nicely my herbs i'm not even talking about this year i've got an email that the decking is being delivered on thursday today is saturday so um it won't be done by then we can we're gonna have to store it in the garage but it's nice to know that it will be here we literally have a countdown of about two just under three weeks until we go away to the us as it needs to be done so everybody's working together it's just incredible i get this all sorted um and yeah i've had a really exciting furniture delivery for the decking but it's sat in the garage and that will definitely not be coming out yet because i'm i'm itching to get it out but at the same time i want it to stay ultimately fresh for the decking it's just so nice to see it like this and see you know get a real idea of the space it is humongous basically it won't even it doesn't even look like it on camera but it is a really big decking it's five meters by six meters essentially six meters out here five meters down that way we're going to be spurring off the electric from the garage as well so we're going to be having lights that go all around the parameter and then phase two which is in 2020 three is going to be a bar a full-on bar on here so anyway we won't one year at a time <laughs> but yeah looking good battery's dying so i'm going to sign off for today and i'll see you guys in the next update so as you've seen i did say i was signing off that video and i do just want to conclude that this is the end of part one please make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and of course the subscribe and that notification bell so you make sure you don't miss part two part two is going to be the completion of this garden and honestly you guys it is just going to look amazing because i'm going shopping on wednesday as well for a lot more accessories i know you've seen i got a few accessories in this video in a little garden haul but honestly i've got so many things in mind i want to get stuff for the wall i want to get another you know like an outdoor lamp i want to do all the shebang honestly this is going to be an incredible garden huge job it's really been exhausting but very exciting and apart from that guys, I hope you're all having a lovely day. If you want to keep up to date with the garden renovations as they are happening, make sure you're following me over on my home account which is Bella Bambina Home. You probably are already if you're a subscriber but definitely head over there for any home inspiration as well. And apart from that guys, I will leave you to it. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next one. Ciao! I just wanna hold you I just wanna look into your eyes And tell you that I want you You know you make me feel so alive Can't stop